The Flow of Funds and the Monetary Machine. In our earlier videos, we learned that all financial assets and really the entire monetary system is something we created from nothing as a record of account. But this doesn't mean that financial assets don't come from anywhere. In fact, I like to think of the process of financial asset creation like the process of mitosis or cell division. For instance, if you were to take out a loan to build an addition on your home, you'd be creating new value through the real resources. And you could then use that new value to collateralize other new assets in the future. To understand financial asset creation, you have to understand stocks and flows. Stocks and flows show the accounting process by which assets move through the economy. I like to think of flows as being similar to the rivers in our economy. They show the real-time creation of assets and how they're spent and moved across income statements in the economy. Stocks are like the lakes in our economy. They show where assets come to a resting place, as reflected on balance sheets. So you can think of the income statements as reflecting the flows, and balance sheets as reflecting the stocks across the economy. Another good analogy for the economic system is the human body, and the way that the body needs a constant flow of nutrients to provide it with life. The economic system is similar, needs a constant flow of financial assets to provide it with the nutrients that can allow it to grow across time. An important concept to understand here is the paradox of thrift. This describes how when one person saves, it means that some other person isn't getting that income. When the entire economy starts to do this, we call this a recession. In other words, everyone can't save their way to financial success. And in fact, the system needs this constant flow of existing money to flow through it and additional new money to be created to fuel the future growth. Three important understandings related to all of this is one, one entity spending is always another entity's income. Two, all financial assets have corresponding financial liabilities. And three, all financial assets are always held by someone. At a personal level, net worth equals assets minus liabilities. But it's important to understand that at the aggregate level, all of these financial assets and liabilities balance out. And so our net worth at the aggregate level is really comprised of non-financial assets, all of the real stuff in the economy. Was that the best three minutes you've ever experienced? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for listening.